What's up YouTube? Today guys we are going to be driving the next gen G680 that SES released I want to say probably about a week ago. Might be longer. I don't know. It's New Year's today so I hope everybody's having a great New Year. But I've been wanting to drive the truck but I've been waiting on somebody to release an accessory a pack. Accessory a pack? Accessory pack. Uh, for the mirrors because I did not like the mirrors that the truck originally comes with They just aren't my style I'm more old school. I like having the out. I like having the mirrors on the outside of the truck not inside my cab um, But I didn't really do nothing fancy to this truck. It comes with a standard 12-speed transmission Can't edit that can't but a 13 in it you can't put a 10 or an 18 so hopefully SES will be adding more transmissions to it in the future um, I am using Jasper's wheel pack and like I said a parts pack off steam workshop that's how I got the mirrors on the outside of the truck I don't know what all that parts pack changes. I didn't really look at the truck after seeing pictures of how the mirrors was. I didn't pay no attention to anything else I was standard on it. I do have an engine pack um, in the truck. So you're not going to hear the factory pass car motor. The only reason why I did that was for the Jake brakes. The motor I picked isn't all that great. but. It will do the trick for today. But yeah, I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and see where we're going here. We're going from Everett, Washington down to Yakima. Yakama? I don't know how to pronounce it. But we're going down here to Walmart. And we're picking up at a UPS. And it looks like we're going to be taking the 5 down to the 90. And then from the 90 we'll be hopping on the 82 which will take us straight to our delivery. Alright, the wiper's on. Kinda of cool how that train is hauling airplanes. That's neat. Now I gotta get used to driving a 12 speed. Now I'm used to driving an 18, so this is gonna be a little different. So used to having a hood and the truck ain't got that.
I will say though, I do like the interior. I like the modern dash for some weird reason. I do like that. I like the red stitching. Pretty much what they did with the W900 for the 100th anniversary. I kind of like it. And since this ain't a truck I'm going to be driving a lot. I didn't throw the bag in it to make it look like I was living in it or a refrigerator. I just put a can of coke down there and added a GPS to it. And then a KISS uh, sticker, or not sticker, air freshener, rock and roll air freshener. Picking up either on cars driving next to me or something. This truck has sensors. Yeah, I want to start doing this where I drive trucks that I don't typically drive. I want to start. I don't know, experimenting. Like I said, on typical, I drive, I'm, I'm more of a peak guy, so if I have it my way, I'm always driving a long hood peak, or I'm driving a W900, those are my two trucks of choice, and I never really get out of those trucks and I was like, you know what, today I want to do something different for New Year's. I want to make a video for YouTube. So I'm a, I'm a hop in that T680. I've been wanting to drive it and now they got the parts back out for it. Perfect time. And we are in 2468 ninth year, and this truck's only doing 43 mile an hour. Which, feels a lot slower than typical. I'm also working on a 
very cool skin for somebody, something different that I don't get a whole lot of requests for. And it's a uh, realism skin. He showed me the color of his truck. He's like, can we do a metallic skin? But I want you to add things to it that would be realistic, like dirt, um, bugs on the grill if I can, and things of that nature. We're coming, we're coming off this exit a little heavy, a little hot. My use to my GPS being right there. Kill our trusses with this truck and we're about to flip them up. But, back to what I was saying before I about rolled the T680. Uh, <laughs> he's like, can we do like a realism skin where we add dirt and stuff to it? And I'm like, yeah, if that's what you want. I'm like, but it isn't. It isn't really much of a request I get. He asked me if it's something I could do, and I'm like, like if it's something I specialize in, and I was like, I don't specialize in any of what I do, I just do it. I've been making skins since 2016, or 2017, and I've made a bunch of different types. From show trucks to your typical BTC trucks to replicating companies. Which my other co uh, customer is making me do. I have a skin pack with him that we're making. Which is always fun trying to make the trucks look like the real life thing. Sometimes it ain't easy when they're like, I want this and this done to it. But I went on this small cabin and that truck, that trucking company only has like, let's just say, stand-up sleepers like the C680, but they want it on the mid-roof.
spaghetti noodle lines and you don't know whether or not you should be in the far right lane or what, but views are always pretty up here. I could literally sit there and eat that buffalo chicken dip all day if I could. One thing I like about the holidays, it gets people in a cooking mood. And I know I like a lot of y'all out there. We all like food. Funny as hell is I'm gonna get used to that GPS being right there on this ride up here. And then when I hop back in my other truck, I'm gonna be looking over there for a GPS. down the street in like a little car it actually has a little bit of I don't know that heavy feel like you, you know you got a load behind you you know you're driving a truck unlike a lot of the mods out like Brutus 579 
or where it is 579. Where it is 379, 389. You know you're driving a truck by looking on the outside. But you don't really feel it as much in the wheel. You don't really feel it and see it as much as you do this truck. Maybe I'm using over powerful engines in that truck. I don't think I am. The highest motor I run in all my trucks is usually around five and a quarter to six and a quarter. I am always rocking an 18 speed though. But I don't think like I don't think those couple little things would change dramatically on how the truck performs I guess like as far as the weight builds but maybe I'm wrong I am using a lower gear ratio transmission so that's making the truck work a little bit harder so it, is, it may be Maybe. Man, before we get up here, guys, I do want to put something else out there. I did have a company reach out to me about my skins. And it was kind of cool. I got an email. I'm still curious on how they got my email I think it was on that Facebook page I don't know if you can see my email on there but I had a company reach out to me um, a trucking company out of I want to say it's Tennessee it's somewhere around that area I have a bad memory so I can't really remember a whole lot of things but I had a company reach out to me and they said that my work was really cool and I, in the near future, they want me to kind of design them up something. So then, I don't know exactly the reason behind it was, but they want me to design up something for a project that they're working on. They used a bunch of words, I'm not going to lie to you, I did not quite understand. It sounds bad, but... It's something to do with the higher ups when people come in to do orientation for their company. They, I guess, use this simulator at their terminal. Um, where am I going? It says no trucks that way. But they use this game at their terminal to determine on whether or not the driver that they're training is going to be in good fit. Pretty much like how Prime does with their uh, virtual trucking game that they have at their terminal. If anybody's ever went to work for Prime Inc., you know that you have to play on a simulator. They judge you off the simulator on who to pair you up with, with how much training you're going to need, which somebody that's driven an 18-wheeler I can say that this simulator does not really compare to the real life deal wait that line is just weirdly out there okay now that I know where I'm going I thought I was going somewhere back here a little bit more but it didn't make sense we're gonna get turned around but I will admit that this game should not be it it should be an idea for somebody that's going into trucking see if you can sit down for 12 hours 12 14 hours but I don't see it being something that you should determine somebody's driving off of in my opinion I don't know, I guess it might help you get an understanding on their strong suits on shifting. If they're getting a gas above shifting, but I, I don't know. To me, it's still just... 
doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I forgot to turn on my four ways. Not have that happen twice. Kind of glad that I'm dropping this trailer here because this truck would get stuck. I need to be getting a little straighter, but I'm afraid this truck won't come up. <laughs> So, we're just going to leave it here. We're going to unhook from this truck, or this trailer, and we're going to take one more look on the outside of the truck, and I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on the next Gen T680. Just because I'm afraid this thing might get stuck. And if y'all are wondering the color I used, it's a stock color. I didn't play with the metallics any. It's just one of the colors that it came with, and I find it pretty cool that it has like a green tint to it. I thought it didn't have that green tint. I just thought it was like a, uh, what's that? It's a Ford color. Ford uses this color a lot on their uh, escapes. I think it's called, I think it's called graphite. Graphite black or something like that. Graphite gray. But overall, with the way the truck looks, it's basically the old T680 with a revamped hood. Which I do like the new front end a lot more. I like the new headlights. They are really sporty looking. I, I will give them that. But the only thing that I don't know. I kind of like it, kind of don't like it. Is how they did the hood. How it's kind of like bulky. It gives it like, I don't know, to me like an old school vibe. Like that box in look. But at the same time. It makes the side of the truck a little weird. Because it doesn't really flow. The body lines don't really flow well with it. But. That would be my one con, but it isn't really like a con. I, I like it, but it messes with the body, the, with the body curves, but other than that, it is a very beautiful truck. Not something I would want to drive all the time, personally. When I hop on this game, I like to drive Long Hood 379, 389. W900s, but for somebody that's wanting to play the game and let's just say they can't go get their CDL, but they still want to have the enjoyment of driving a company filling type of truck, this is it. If I was to get on here and I'd want to drive a mega carrier style truck. That you would see at Prime Inc. Martin. I would probably pick this truck. Other than getting stuck back there. Um, 
yeah I didn't like that much the interior is very beautiful and I really I don't know I could see me driving it in a weird way more often if they would add more customization to it where we could have the mid roof option they added more transmissions because I I did not like 12 speed I not a big fan of that um, yeah that was weird I'd have rather have at least had that extra gear of 13 at least 13 would have probably have made it out of that a lot easier I could have dropped it in low low but I couldn't drop it in any gear over here all I had is L I'm pretty sure Okay, I do have a low and a low high, so that low gear was just that awful. But as far as outside goes, I'd give the truck an 8 out of 10. It is a very beautiful truck. Handling goes, I'd probably give it about an 8 out of 10 as far as realistic realism goes it felt like I was hauling a load I felt the force I felt the weight I felt I felt a lot like it actually felt like driving a truck and I really liked that the motor I picked was probably a bad choice because it was very underpowered and then as far as transmissions go yeah I'd give that stuff the motor the motor since you only get pass car with it standard you don't get Cummins or anything like that and then the fact that there's only one transmission being a 12 speed I'd give that lack of customization a 3 out of 10 just because me personally yeah I get it it's a hundred year anniversary truck but you're putting it into a game you can at least add the transmissions and motors that would factory come in these trucks but that's my opinion but I hope you guys like this video I know I did a whole lot of talking and I know I stutter a lot and I appreciate anybody that handled that and made sense of anything I said so I hope you guys had a good new year I'll probably make another video tonight which I'm sorry for in advance but Maybe I just won't talk as much. If you guys like this video, press that like button, comment. Comment what you guys want to see next. And uh, catch you guys in the next one.